Morning, guys. We're in Hebrews chapter 12. I'm going to be reading from verse 18 to verse 24. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further message be spoken to them. And so the writer is referring to Mount Sinai and when the Lord appeared to them in a very fearful way uh, with the darkness and the trumpet and the blazing fire, this is when God wrote the Ten Commandments in the tablets of stone. And it goes on to say, verse 20, For they could not endure the order that was given. If even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned. So if anyone approached that mountain where God was um, with that fearful lightning and, and fire and um, voice, trumpet, um, even Moses trembled at the voice of, of the Lord. Um, but if they touched that, it came up to the mountain too close and touched the bottom of that mountain, they would be stoned to death because it's a fearful um, place and they needed to respect the Lord. They couldn't come near God. Um, and so we, under the new covenant, can come directly to the throne of God. We can approach Him because the veil has been torn and we can enter His presence. And so we look forward to one day entering that presence when we'll be with Jesus, um, standing with Him um, and not in that fear of that sin that separates us. Uh, from God. Um, verse 21, indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city. So not uh, Mount Sinai, but we have come under the new covenant to Mount Zion. Um, so we're looking for uh, towards the heavenly um, Jerusalem. We're looking for to heaven itself where we're going to be with God without that fear. So we come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels and fest festival gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And so we come to the Trinity, the fullness of the Trinity. There we see the spirit, we see Jesus, we see God. Um, and we come to God's very throne, His very presence. Um, if, if we are in Christ, we are secure, we're safe, the sin's dealt with. And so um, we'll one day live in harmony with God. And then he goes on to say, He's the mediator of the new covenant and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. And so Abel, one of the first to make it into um, that Hebrews 11, the Hall of Faith, um, recognized as a man of faith who walked with God, um, who was a righteous man, and yet, even though he t took that animal sacrifice and that blood was shed, Christ's blood is far greater um, than the sacrifice of Abel. Um, Christ's sacrifice is far greater. Let's just look at a couple of um, Old Testament scriptures talking about this event at Mount Sinai with the tablets. Um, Deuteronomy 4 verse 11, And you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, while the mountain burned with fire to the heat of heaven, wrapped in darkness, cloud and gloom. It's a terrifying thing to, to come into the presence of the Lord if you don't know Him and if your sin is not dealt with. Verse 12, And the Lord spoke to you out of the midst of the fire. You heard the sound of words. You saw no form. There was only a voice. And he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded to you, that is the Ten Commandments. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone. God penned those commandments down, and God holds us accountable. And so, if we aren't saved through Jesus, who has paid for our sin, we will one day be held accountable and burn in hell um, for that sin that we've committed. Jumping to verse chapter 5, verse 22. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly at the mountain of the midst, out of the midst of the fire, the cloud and the thick darkness, with a loud voice, and he added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave, gave them to me. 
And so God has set these boundaries, these limits for Israel. And he's a bilateral co covenant where he says, if you go across this line, you will receive the penalty. And, and often that penalty was death. And as we know, if, if um, every sin, the wages of sin is death and ultimately eternal death in hell. Exodus 19 is where, in 20 is where the Ten Commandments are. Exodus 19 verse 12, and, you'll sh and you shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Take care not to go out into the mountain or touch the edge of it. Whoever touches the mountain sh would, shall be put to death. No hand shall touch him, and he shall be stoned or shot. Whether beast or man, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. And so they could come up, but they weren't allowed to touch it. They weren't allowed to come close to God because their sin separated them from God. And if we, if your sin is not dealt with, that you remain separated from God forever. Um, but we who are under the new covenant, um, Romans eight seventeen says, and if we are children, we are heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Um, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. So if we are in Christ, you'll one day be glorified with him and one day be with him with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit in heaven, without the fear and judgment of our angry God. Amen.